from Dr. Rosen Sweden. I'd like to answer a question that came in. I'm three years post breast cancer, double mastectomy, now four months post surgical hysterectomy. Feel awful. They won't give me anything. Any suggestions? Yes. Suggestion number one is you want to be really clear about the possibility of taking hormones and is there any risk involved? And I'm going to give you the clarity of what the medical literature sums up to. And it is that a woman who's had breast cancer and has had it properly treated is at less risk for recurrence if she's treated with hormones than if she does not receive hormonal treatment. And they're really talking about Permanent and Prem program. Now, to give you some background to this, and this is something I highly suggest to you, recommend to you, is this is documented in a book called Estrogen Matters. And it's by Avram Blooming, MD, and Carol Tavris, PhD. And Dr. Blooming is an oncologist. His wife had breast cancer. His daughter had breast cancer. And they are both being treated with hormones. Yes, once you've had breast cancer, there's an, a risk for recurrence. And yes, that risk for recurrence is higher than in a young woman who's never had cancer developing cancer. And there's reasons why men are vulnerable to prostate cancer developing and women are vulnerable to breast cancer. So cancer is a bigger subject. And of course, it would be my wish for you and all of us that we are very diligent about all the factors that can lead to us not being well. And at the same time, I want to repeat it, women who've had breast cancer and have had that properly treated are at less risk for recurrence if they're treated with hormones than if they do not receive hormone treatment. Now, why is your physician um, not willing to give you anything? Because although women were treated with hormones, 18 million women were being treated with hormones, primarily Premer and Prempro, up until 2002. And that's 40% of women who are in menopause. Very popular. And then this explosive shock hit the, w w uh, the world of women and physicians and health providers in 2002 with the publishing of the Women's Health Initiative, a study that falsely declared that there was increased risk for breast cancer, heart attack, and stroke if a woman was treated with Prempro, not Premarin. And it was false information, and there was a pushback at the time of uh, possible publication from men many members of that committee because there was not a statistical increased risk for breast cancer, heart attack, and stroke with Prempro. And as they continued to follow the women, by 2006, they realized there was no increased risk. And by 2017, that exact same committee, the study committee of the Women's Health Initiative, published in the exact same original journal, the Journal of American Medical Association, that there was no increased risk after 18 years of follow-up for breast cancer, heart attack, and stroke. So um, this is a big topic, and this is the introduction to it. And I highly urge you to read Estrogen Matters. Because without your uterus, that's not consequential. Without your ovaries, even that's not terribly consequential because there is good treatment available to you for you choose, if you choose to do it. We're all at risk. You're at risk. But we know, and I'm someone who knows as a doctor, that not taking hormones leads to issues of bones and cognition and bladder and vagina and, and arteries. So there's good reason for you to want treatment. And once you educate yourself enough in your guts, you'll know if this is right for you. That's how we always do it with each individual woman um, that we treat who, with hormones who's had prior breast cancer. And then, of course, I, any woman that we treat, uh, that I treat personally who've had breast cancer, and there, have, there has been several, we want a very close relationship with the woman's oncologist so that you're being followed properly, monitored properly, because things can be picked up. So at any rate, best wishes to you.